what's up you guys welcome back to the channel this is rachel and it's good to see you again i know it's been a while since i made a video or anything like that but um you know <laughs> i've just been caught up doing late night shifts and going till midnight and all that kind of stuff but i do still take all my time to interact with you guys as much as possible and be online and make a presence there uh whether it's you know instagram or doing game streaming and that kind of stuff with you so today's video, I wanted to go ahead and drop what I thought would be kind of fun. I'm going to talk about my first time as a transgender woman dating a guy, which is way new to me. Now, I should probably already just throw out a couple disclaimers right off the top. I know that it's going to be a big thing already. The number one question that every transgender person gets when someone hears that they're trans. Um, so do you like guys or girls? Let me tell you, if if I had a dollar for every time I got asked that, like, I kind of get it, but at the same time, it's just so random. You know, that all said, I personally am bisexual. I've always been attracted to masculine men and feminine women. And it's been kind of weird because, I mean, because of my past and all that, I've, I've always stereotypically dated women, but all the opportunities to date guys, all the type of guys that would, you know, throw themselves at me weren't exactly my type. I don't really know how to explain it. It's like straight guys don't like guys, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? I My taste in men was previously inaccessible to me. And so now that I have gone through my transition, it's a whole different ball game, very unique. And everyone's journey is different. Everyone has different preferences on who they like to date and stuff. I promise you that nobody transitions because they like guys or girls or whatever. It's a very solo and a very physical journey that has nothing to do with who you're attracted to. So all that out of the way, let's get right into it. Let me tell you, this first guy, if a date could have a Yelp review, like 10 out of 10, five stars. I don't know how Yelp works. My point is like this guy was amazing and I'm honestly just so deeply thankful and flattered and just honored that my first date with a guy was him. It's really nice to see that there's, you know, definitely still some chivalry and gentlemen out there, but we'll get into it. So guy number one, it all started when I went to a mutual friend's house for a, around this time of year, really, it was a Halloween party. And it was kind of a small get together, you know, 10, 15 people just, drink a couple beers, playing cards, beer pong, whatever, and just, you know, kind of having a, a laid back time. So I'm sitting there playing cards, whatever I was doing, and this guy comes in, he's dressed as like a pharaoh, and I, I know I made some nerdy joke about like Yu-Gi-Oh or something, and we kind of laughed about it, and he sat by me, and we played cards, and just kind of talked and hung out all night, and towards the end of the night, he asked for my number, and it was really sweet. I, I know I didn't say this, but in my head, my whole life, I've lived such a knee-jerk reaction type of compensation thing that in my head, when he asked me for num my number, I'm like, okay. I, it was really sweet, honestly. So I gave him my number and I didn't really hear from him until maybe later that week. He finally ended up contacting me and he asked me for dinner. So we met up at this place near the mall I, I could not be more pleased and just proud of him as, you know, a man. He was, he was so incredibly sweet. Honestly, he, he was like the perfect gentleman. He was, he was holding doors for me and he was polite and kind and just sweet. He, he was like offered to pay for the meal. He's a good conversationalist and a good eye contact and, um, just, just everything about him was just, just great. However, I have never had someone appear in my life that I've just had so little in common with, like ever. I had nothing in common. We know like same sports teams, food, music, life goals, temperature, like, I mean, nothing. As a human being, he is phenomenal. And I, I promise I'm still, I'm so happy that my first date was with him just because of, of how he was, his level of dignity and respect. It, it was wonderful. 
I know that he's going to make some girl out there just the luckiest, happiest girl alive. And the fact that it didn't click between us is, you know, it's fine. I guess that's really what dating is kind of about is, you know, getting to know each other. I don't know, like maybe in the future we'll be neighbors. We can like watch each other's animals on vacation or something. <laughs> he was, he was a really sweet guy. I really, I wish him the best. And it's a date that I'll always remember very fondly. I, I couldn't be more grateful that my first date with a guy was with him. So good on you, man. Guy number two. This one is a little odd because I actually knew this guy from before, sorta. If you guys know me, I'm a huge game nerd. 90% of my, my, my hobbies are like nail polish, cars, and video games. I'm, I'm constantly on them and gaming. You see my little nerd pillow back there. <laughs> That's just my hobby. That's my thing, you know? So I was hanging out with this one friend of mine and we've known each other probably like eight or nine months, something like that. I don't even really remember how the conversation got there. I, th I think it was something along the lines of like Corona, like, oh, hey, how's work? How's your city treating this and that? And so the conversation kind of came about yeah, as opposed to our normal daily routine of, hey, how's work? Let's go kill some bad guys. Like, you know what? Where do you live? I, I don't remember. It was like New York or something like that. And he's like, well, actually, I live in Arizona. I live in Arizona. <laughs> so we're like, no, that's BS. Like, and also keep in mind at this point, <laughs> it was a little awkward because we were already kind of flirting, like by text and stuff. You know, nothing super serious, but like a little more on top than just friends. Here comes this moment where imagine imagine seeing like a little chihuahua barking at, you know, the postman. And then one day the postman, you just see the car ah! have the chihuahua look like and we sat there kind of bamboozled like, well, I mean, I I guess we should meet, huh? I guess so. Like you only live 20 minutes, 30 minutes away. So I go to meet him and when I finally got to his door, like, you know, of course I was nervous, you know, meeting a friend that you, you've known for a while, but meeting in person is a little different. And the moment we saw each other, all the nervousness, all that kind of whatever just went out the window. It was great. You know, we, we immediately just clicked back into like super close mode. You know, we had a lot of the same hobbies. We sat there and we played games and we just like snuggled on the couch and watched movies and and you know, got to know each other all over again. And it was just, it was great. And it was my first time kissing a guy, which was pretty nice, a little different, very beardy, <laughs> but it was nice. And I, I had a lot of fun with him. I do like him, but we're just at different places in our life at this moment in time. I, I'm at a point in my life where I'm, I'm in the middle of changing jobs. I have to be moving where I'm living and, and just all kinds of other personal stuff. And I know for him, he does actually come from a, a bigger city, not New York, but like another one where like the car is a big thing. You know, in, in a place like that, there's a lot of people that don't even have a vehicle. They, they don't even think about it because, you know, they just go to walk to work or take the subway or whatever. And he's always been in a position where it just never occurred to him to get a car which, you know, I don't judge him for, but I can see in the future of a relationship how that would kind of strain it. It would be like, okay, yeah, I'd love to go see my boyfriend. Let me go 30 minutes to go pick him up. Oh, I'd love my boyfriend to come over. Let me drive 30 minutes to pick him up and bring him all the way back here. And it's just like, you know, he, he has his roommate and all this kind of other stuff. And I do like him a lot and it's not like a superficial type of thing. It's just something that I feel we'd have to work on. We, we're not, neither of us are in a, a place to expand upon it further, but he's he's really sweet and I, I do appreciate him as a friend. And I mean, who knows what the future has. So guy number three, this one is definitely the most awkward, I guess. Like. He was like this mechanic dude on base and he he's clearly into cars and stuff because I'm into cars and he come talk to me about this and that. And so he asked me for a number. So I gave him my number and we ended up hanging out and he, this is like actually when the whole COVID junk started happening. And so we weren't like able to go out and do anything. Most of our area is pretty locked down. And so he asked me to go hang out with him. I was like, well, 
I mean, what are you, what are we gonna do? So apparently drive-in theaters are still a thing. I never knew. i would never been to one until then. So I go all the way out here. I drive out to meet this guy and it looked kind of creepy just cause it's like in the middle of nowhere with all these billboards and I got there, finally shows up and he's in his car and like parks right next to me. And you guys like, smoke starts billowing out like the hood of this guy's car and he gets out and he like pops the hood and there's smoke and I'm like oh my gosh it's like I have to fix this dude's car <laughs> I'm like all right well it's, it's freaking hot out we can just sit in my car you know watch the movie and talk and and I felt like I was pulling teeth to converse with this guy <laughs> it was pretty much like this it's like oh wow um so what do you like to do do you like skiing or you know video games football knitting like what are, what are your passions what do you like to do Oh, yeah, no, no just, just whatever. Yeah. Um, okay, well, uh, do you like music or, like, food? Um, you know, tell, tell me about some of those. Like, what, what are you interested in? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, movies. Um, movies are good. Uh, music. M music's good. Yeah, 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 you know, just, just whatever. Right. So... It felt like just pulling teeth trying to talk to this guy. I could not get anything out of him. He just does whatever. I'm like, what kind of movies do you like? Oh, yeah, movies are good. Do you like food? Yup. Food is fun. <laughs> so I don't really know what to think about my whole dating life as far as guys go. It's so awkward. It's so weird. It's definitely something I've never experienced before. And I don't even know where to begin. Like, there's obviously a couple gentlemen still out there, which is nice. But I mean, like, I feel like my standards aren't that high. I just want to be respected. I don't expect a guy to have a Ferrari, but maybe like a Honda Civic with a warranty. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed one of my random rants. You know, if you enjoy this type of content, let me know, have you ever had a really weird date? Because <laughs> I read all your comments and I'm actually pretty uh, tickled to know. So it'll be interesting. Yeah, thank you again for stopping in and watching my video. I hope to hear more from you guys and you know, I read all your messages and suggestions. Thank you all for all your sweet comments and everything. And oh, also a quick shout out. Thank you so, so much to all the people who've been, you know, donating and sharing for, you know, my surgery fund, which is literally life changing. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but I will keep you posted on all that kind of stuff. Um, if you, if you feel like you want to help on that, I, I will definitely throw that in the description below. Donations are never expected, but always appreciated. I appreciate your love and support so much. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have an amazing night and you can chase your happiness and dreams. So have an amazing night. Thank you again, guys. Bye. <laughs>